captain. Human blocks him in broad, captain. Seems to be survived. On it, flying your own flag at last. Yes, yes. Blackbeard cut me loose. Sadly, time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best. I think I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you! complete disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for mad sense! These were my only terms! I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise. Sense. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What you're thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking of ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? Aye, and in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicine. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. 
thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered. Hope for the best. Careful, Captain. We're drifting close to a watchtower. There's another watchtower. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! Around here, we may never get out. Be sure they don't spy us trailing. I'm off the wind, sir. Use the stunts. Steady as she goes, Captain. Aye, sir.
And you know how... Oh, Christ! It took him! It took him! I told you! Just throw! For God's sake, throw! I told you there was something, didn't I tell you? Oh, God! Let's just get out of here!
There was an accident. Private Simon! This, this crocodile! I don't care about your action. Speak. Don't change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I... Change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply... No man shall touch that man. Time to... To surrender. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of a pirate, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Kill him! Kill him! Someone's after the captain! Stop him! 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 Stop him!
Oh God! Oh God, save me! And flay all you devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now you'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not thank him? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, Thad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet, and cozy voyage. I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year. How oh, will me again, lad? In this world? Or the one below? a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Take your time. I'll meet you by the elevator. Over here. Are you ready? He's waiting for us. some of your footage from this week it's amazing blackbeard was mental and we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him maybe start with him drinking talking to some pirates telling a story then we cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and sorry his ship not boat but jumping around the deck of his ship swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. Hi, Melania, so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Head to the right of Olivier's office. Uh, and if the receptionist complains, act like you're using the toilets. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila. You now have level two security clearance. Not bad for your first few... I'll update your communicator.
is an interesting security measure. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Thank you. 
Bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Too long. Oh, come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Well, someone returned them a few days later.
No, the hacker here, at Ups Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there, I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus.
Travers? What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your face. Name's Kenway. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a network Templar called uh, Upton. Could you eliminate him for me? Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? I'm sure you may find it among Upton's men. If I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. from his own smuggling operation. <laughs> I know. It sounds ridiculous. Get a job, get a job. I am Upton Travers, Bureau Leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I'm only after a Templar key. A what? Please... I need for you to tell me everything. And why should I trust you? Meet me at the Bureau, and I will show you. Oh, bother.
some sort of... Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals have spent their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a lick of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your man. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Man out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Good 
Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the south. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Pace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobby. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folksal headed fuddlers, See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.
Oh, it's just